running the A&D office was quite an experience. You know, it was well set up. There were routines established. There were typists that were in there that were enlisted in med and medics that knew what they were doing. And they did a good job. But I'll tell you right now, the fellow in that office that impressed me the most was a Japanese man. I'm not sure how old. But I'm going to guess he was in his middle 30s, maybe crowding 40. And I'm sure he had a last name, but all I remember was that we called him Charlie. And boy, when there was anything mathematical to be done, Charlie could use the abacus to get the answer accurately, quicker than the other guys could using the uh, machines that we had at that time. You know, we didn't have the fancy calculators that we have now. Not at all. But it, it was almost a game at times when we weren't busy for the boys to challenge him to see if they could come up with a mathematical answer when they just kind of play with the whole concept. I think Charlie lost once in a while, but not often. And when he did lose, I suspicioned he lost because he thought, well, maybe I shouldn't win all the time. Because we were where we were in a mild area of Japan, we got quite a few evacuees from the front lines that were brought to our hospital to recuperate, to get well enough then to be ordered back to active duty. But we also were in, uh, I guess you'd call the pipeline, that we got a number of patients that came to us and uh, then were transferred on back to the United States. If they went to the United States, I don't remember just how that was done. I do remember a number of times when we had occasion to have somebody that we needed to get to a bigger hospital in Japan that they would bring in a uh, biplane uh, uh, with the pontoons on it and we would take our patient down and you'd put them in a little boat and wait till the ship was landed and then you'd row out there and transfer the patient to the medical personnel on the plane. Not a big plane. Not a big plane at all. And we never had helicopters come in and out. So whenever we moved anybody that way, it was always with the plane coming in from some base and uh, with the pontoons and landing on the ocean. Not out in the wild waves or anything. We had a, Bepu had a nice harbor. Pretty, pretty good duty. Pretty good duty station. Pretty good officers. Captain Miller, Captain Cannon particularly I respected. We had, uh, a, my very best friend was the dentist Stan Sterling, and uh, he, he and I and a young doctor, John Heffelfinger, if I say that last name correctly and remember it correctly, we three became very, very close friends.